The eruption of the world's largest active volcano, Mauna Loa, on Hawaii's Big Island, has disrupted monitoring of global carbon dioxide levels. The Mauna Loa Observatory has tracked rising levels of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere for more than six decades without interruption. After 38 years, Hawaii's Mauna Loa erupted on Sunday, November 27, 2022 at 11.30 p.m. local time. The eruption quickly filled the summit caldera forcing lava to spill and flow outward in an east and west direction. While the exact timing was a surprise, the eruption was anticipated due to recently felt earthquakes. Lava flows east of the Mauna Loa Solar Observatory, MLSO, have destroyed parts of the access road to the observatory and knocked out all power to the site. MLSO is not near any lava flows and not in any immediate danger. The observatory's manager, the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at University of California, San Diego, reported that the equipment that has maintained the famed Keeling Curve record of atmospheric carbon dioxide, created in 1958, lost power on Monday. On the evening of November 29th, Ben Berkey noticed the power at the observatory had switched to the battery backup system known as an uninterruptible power supply, UPS, indicating a power outage at the site. UPS provides power to the observatory for multiple hours but cannot sustain power for longer. Hawaii Electric confirmed that the lava flows had knocked out power to the Mauna Loa site as well as to other users. The significant lava flow has damaged or destroyed power lines as well as parts of the Mauna Loa access road. Prior to losing power, the MLSO Sky webcam and the NOAA webcam were recording images from the site. The lava has continued flowing downward to an altitude of about 7,500 feet. The MLSO site is not in any immediate danger, but has no power and no road access. Repairs to the road and power lines cannot begin until the lava flows have stopped. We anticipate MLSO to be closed for at least several weeks. Researchers at Scripps are exploring options for relocating this equipment. The Keeling Curve is considered emblematic of scientific evidence that human activities are altering Earth's climate. Ralph Keeling, a geochemist and climate scientist at Scripps Oceanography and the son of Keeling Curve creator Charles David Keeling, described the outlook for the future of carbon dioxide readings from the station as very troubling. It's a big eruption and it's in a bad place. Charles David Keeling determined Mauna Loa to be an ideal location to measure carbon dioxide. This was because Big Island is far from other major land masses and the mountaintop has no vegetation, meaning that there would be no photosynthetic activity that could interfere with measurements. Unfortunately, eruptions in Hawaii can continue for weeks to months with periodic renewed activity and lava flows can be dynamic and unpredictable. Meanwhile, we are thankful that our staff, NOAA staff, and all other Mauna Loa personnel and local residents are safe. 